how to make money on Fiverr using Midjourney using this new strategy. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today, we will be taking a look at how you can get started with making money on Fiverr using this new strategy. So let's get into it. Now, everyone knows that AI is super popular right now. And the best part about this is if you go on to Fiverr.com right now, you can see they have just introduced AI artists. So this is now a official thing. It is a legit thing. You can be a AI artist on Fiverr. You don't have to lie about anything. You're going to be very direct direct because they want to leave things to the professionals. So if you're someone that has used Midjourney and it's a relatively new application and it's really easy to use, I will show you guys exactly how to get started with Midjourney. So you can go on to AI services and you can see they even have multiple different categories. So artists, applications, and other services. And they even have Midjourney artists. So if you click on Midjourney artist over here, you can see the different services people are providing and you can see their services are not even that great so you can see that you know okay it's like okay service they're fine i wouldn't say any of these are particularly you know amazing or it's particularly eye-catching some of these are but you know they're relatively okay they're not really that unique so i'm going to show you guys how you can create art that is even better looking and start selling it on fiber from midjourney so let's get into it now the first thing you're going to do is head on over to midjourney.com. Once you're in midjourney.com, you're going to click on join the beta and this will open up midjourney in the discord application. You're just going to accept the discord server invite on midjourney. So you're going to click on accept invite and I will show you guys a shortcut instead of having to use midjourney in the newbie section of their server. We're just going to wait for this. Now, once midjourney has loaded, just go into any newbie server. Once you open the server up, you will see, you know, it's going to constantly be spammed because people are using Midjourney all the time. Well, all you have to do is go into the uh, teammate section or, you know, the people section. So you can just click on show member list over here and it has the Midjourney bot. You're going to click on this bot over here and you're going to click on add to server. You're going to select your server, just create a new sample server. And I have already added this into the Midjourney tutorial. And I'm going to click on create channel. I'm just going to click on Fiverr. So now I've just created a new channel in my Discord server. And I will begin showing you guys the different things you can create via Midjourney and start selling on Fiverr and exactly how to do it. Now, I have a very detailed video on consistent character building using Midjourney. And it's uploaded on the channel. Do check that out if you want to make sure you know how to build a character. If you want to build a character based off of anything. So if you want to do that, make sure to learn that as well. But I'm going to show you guys a quick overview of that as well so the first thing you want to do with uh, mid journey is that you click on slash and then you have a bunch of different things so the most uh, popular one is definitely slash imagine so that is what you want to do and after that you just enter any kind of prompt so slash lo-fi image i just want to generate a lo-fi image maybe it's for a youtube blurric video or a youtube video or a wallpaper whatever it might be so i'm just generating a lo-fi image over here and it's generating a couple of different images it usually takes upwards of 60 seconds to generate your image and this is like the best part of adding it to your own server is that you don't have to wait for you know the spam of other people getting your messages lost any of that stuff so this is loading up over here so you can enter any kind of prompt. It could be literally anything and it will generate the image for you. Now, once you have the prompt, you can see it's giving me a bunch of different options. What I can do is that if I want to get a upscaled version, so if I want to get a zoomed in detailed version of any image, I can just click on U and this is one, two, three, four. So if I want to get a upscaled version of the second image, I can just click on U2. And then this will upscale this image and give me like a better detailed version or a zoomed in version, you could say, of this image. So I'm just going to wait for that. And if you want more variation, so let's say I want a upscaled version as well as more variations of this image. So I can just click on V2. If I want it for another one, I can click on, you know, any other image, but it's going to give me more variations of that image. So I'm just going to wait. And now it's generating my variations over here. So now you can see it has generated a bunch of different variations and also created a upscaled version. Now, 
if you want to build characters with this kind of thing, if you want to build, you know, more detailed character, you want to build uh, specific scenes as well, then what you're going to do. So first off, I'm just going to add the imagine prompt over here Then I'm going to enter whatever prompt it might be. So landscape floral. So I've just added a basic little journey over here. Now you can see my trial is currently at an end, but I can go on ahead and, you know, purchase or subscribe to my journey, or you can just create a new account. And that is all you have to do. Just create a new discord account. You have uh, a new mid journey trial at the start. So uh, I'm just going to go on ahead and continue with my account. But what you want to do is once you have, you know, the basic image that you want to start with building more off of. So let's say this is the reference image and I want to build upon this image. So what you're going to do is you're going to do a right click on this, click on the app section and click on DM results. Now, once you click on DM results on the top left of your screen, you're actually going to get a message by Midjourney, and this is going to be the seed number. Now, what you're going to do with the seed number is that you're going to go and copy this, go back into your Midjourney bot. Once you're back in your Midjourney bot, go back into the imagined prompt and paste the prompt as it is. So whatever you type up there, you can paste it as it is, add more details, and then enter the seed number or... So whatever your pre-existing prompt is, then you're going to put in a slash and then you're just going to enter the seed number that you copied, click on return, and then this will create a, uh, you know, a new version of your image that is going to be based upon that first image. Now, this is just one way of developing, you know, interesting characters or caricatures off of nothing if your client is just providing you with basic descriptions of what they want. Then you can also provide mid-journey services in the form of creating art. So you can have a realistic photo manipulation, AI portrait art. So you can offer people to, uh, you can, you know, change their images. So for that, you just go into your Discord server and you're just going to go ahead and upload an image. So you can see I uploaded a cat and then I just did a real portrait of a queen for that cat and now this cat has been added as a queen and I can create a variation and I can sell portraits like these people really like these kinds of customized gifts and frames so I can make this kind of services I can do this with people create anime versions of people you can create um uh, and hyper realistic drawings or sketched versions so on and so forth and provide them with different kind of AI generated art for them to be able to customize on gifts and other items so this can be a super super popular thing on fiverr as well so i hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video